Off the Shelf Indie Gaming brought to you by Burnlot Enterprises. In this episode, thank goodness. You know what this reminds me of? That reminds me. This reminds me of that one time I brought I bought land in Somalia and then had to develop it, and then eventually I ended up turning it into a, uh, a slave mine. I certainly don't know. The game is not telling me. There's no tool tips. There's no tool tips. And now this. Hello, dear viewers, and thank you for tuning in. Tell you, Burnlot reporting from the uh, Burnlot Enterprises HQ in the sunny land of Portugal. In today's episode of Off the Shelf Indie Gaming, we bring you City Clickers, the quintessential SimCity clone, but not really. But developed by one Eigenlank for the One Bit Clicker Jam, and currently available on itch.io for the low, low price of whatever the hell it is you want to pay for it. As with other games in the One Bit Clicker Jam, it is supposed to be a game that is fully playable with only one click of your button mouse. Mouse button. One of the interesting things you can do with this game is the fact you can change the colors of the screen. And let's be honest here, who wouldn't want a good sepia tone? I mean, look at that. That looks cool. I don't know what this is, but then again, considering it calls itself the quintessential SimCity clone, but not really, I must, I can only assume what it is. Welcome. This is your city. Build it as you see fit, but remember you can only place buildings next to roads. Some buildings like houses, shops, and factories generate income, while others such as water towers, parks, and roads cost money to maintain. It's up to you to manage the fine balance between prosperity and total chaos. Please note this is an early version of the game and will be developed further in the future, adding new features and buildings. So this is... pretty much... SimCity. Oh, okay. Alright, so what am I supposed to be doing here? Okay, that's a road. Uh, can I extend it? No, I can certainly drag the thing around. I have no population. Alright. No, I don't, don't want to clear it. No. I have no population, but I have 25,000 money units. Thank goodness. You know what this reminds me of? That reminds me, this reminds me of that one time I, brought, I bought land in Somalia and then had to develop it. And then I eventually I ended up turning it into a, uh, a slave mine. Yeah. Turns out, infrastructure in Somalia don't really mesh. Anyway. Can I click on this? I cannot. Oh. Oh, yes, I can. Wait, hold on. Oh, I was trying to click on it, but for whatever reason, if you click here, it doesn't work. If you click here, it does. Okay. Alright. Let's build ourselves a road. And the road's currently being built. Okay. Uh, can I... Oh... Oh, I see. It costs money, but I also have to manually click it? Seriously? Why? That's a weird... That's a weird thing. Why, ex why exactly? Okay, why exactly do I have to click to build it and it doesn't build itself? I mean, goodness knows, I certainly don't. Alright, so I can get a small housing, a market, a shop, Plant tree or a park? Can I get even a reservoir or a factory? Okay. So what do these things tell me? Uh, don't know what that is. Don't know what that tells me. Okay. People. Zero of three. Okay, that's okay. That's, that's population. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. Housing income minus six. Okay, so that's my finances. All right. And what is this? That is the menu. Alright, I'm assuming I can... Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, put it back to normal. Alright, so if I... Oh, so that oh, so that screen shows me where I can build. Oh, okay. Alright, so if I put in a, a market... And I click, 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 click ahead... And it seems that it only... Can I put a shop in there? Come on. It seems that the date only actually moves as I build it. Okay. So I built myself a shop. I don't know what any of this does. I really don't. I don't know what the, any of this means. I, I, uh, there were three symbols before, but now there's only two. And what am I supposed to be doing? I don't know. Do I, like, uh, build myself a water reservoir? Maybe? I don't know. Alright, let's build a water tower. It's very weird that I have to continuously click to build things instead of it just building by itself. So if I go here... No, it still has two icons. Whatever the, whole, whatever the hell those mean. Okay, so that's the reservoir, I guess. 
All right. I don't know exactly what to do here. I mean, can I click here? Oh, I can advance. Oh, I see. I can advance the, uh, the, the data if I click on that. But I'm not getting any population. And I'm supposed to be... Well, I'm supposed to be able to get popul... Oh, shit. I didn't expect that. No. Click, 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 click. Alright. Can I upgrade the small housing? I cannot. I, I need to get population before I can do anything. But I'm not getting any population. Am I supposed to be able, am I supposed to like build a factory before they'll come? I mean, as, assuming this works like SimCity, you can't really get population without something for them to do. You need to give them jobs. And okay, all right. So I have a factory now. Do I get population if I just keep moving? I do not. I mean, <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing here? Can I build more small housing? I mean, I'm not getting people. It's certainly getting a it's certainly getting a tad bit difficult to, uh, you know, survive and gain money if the game won't give me anything to fucking you know. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's make a park. Maybe I need a park. I don't know. All right. Do I just keep going? I mean, I don't know what what's expected of me. I mean. I don't. I no longer have any sort. Oh, I'm getting population now. Oh, I see. Okay, so now I'm getting population. Oh, okay. So now I'm getting population. So what can I do? Um, last month, road maintenance, park maintenance, reservoir overhead, office income, f office income, factory income. Okay, so what do I do now? I mean, I have a factory. Can I move my population around? Do I have to tell my population to go work at the factory? I don't know. Do I tell them? I certainly don't know. The game is not telling me. There's no tooltips. There's no tooltips. All right. Let's build ourselves yet another factory. All right, let's build another factory. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's build ourselves a road. Okay. And let's build ourselves another house. Another small housing right here. Because I'm running out of money and I have absolutely no idea how I'm supposed to make money. Because I don't know. Do I have to tell people to go work at the factory? I certainly have no idea. I mean, the factory income is negative. So is the shop income for a daily total of minus 48. I mean, I, w I would be assuming that the more people I got working in the factory, then I would be getting money from the factory. I don't know. The factory income is getting even lower. Okay, let's borrow 5,000. Let's borrow another 5,000. Apparently, I don't have to make interest payments. That's great. Do I have to tell people to go work? I wouldn't think I would, but apparently I do. Come on. Because it's, it's not really telling me anything. I don't really know what exactly is going on. I know I have to build factories to make money, but apart from that, there's not much else to do. Oh, maybe I have to connect the fucking... I have to connect it with a road? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's put roads in front of everything, and hopefully that'll solve all my problems. I have no idea. Clear, let's demolish that, and let's put in more roads, because frankly, we're going the road of uh, we're going the way of industrialization, and let's be honest, fuck everything else. There's a plus and minus signs. Now there's minuses as well. I'm losing population for whatever reason. I have no idea why. I'm not really sure what exactly is going on. It's not giving me any information that I want to know. Factory income is still in the negatives. I'm still losing money from everything. I'm not exactly sure what exactly I'm supposed to be doing here. Maybe I'm supposed to put down another, mar another shop? I certainly don't know. Did I put down another shop? Maybe. Come on. 
Come on. There we go. I'm losing population again, and I have no idea why. I'm losing population on both, because I don't know what's going on. It's like, what is the point? I'm not understanding this. Am I supposed to be making money off the factories? I certainly don't know. That's what the game told me, and yet that's not what's happening. Do my people have, I don't know, needs that I'm not aware of? This game is very confusing. It doesn't really tell you much. There we go. Because now I'm losing population, and I have no idea why. This is just like SimCity, in that you basically just fuck up and lose massively, and you have no idea why. You know what, let's just... back to menu, let's start a new game. Some buildings like houses, shops, and factories generate income, while others such as water towers, parks, and roads cost money to maintain. It's up to you to manage the fine balance between prosperity and total chaos. Please note this is an early version of the game, and it'll be developed further. Okay. Let's try and do this a bit more efficiently. First off, first off, let's build ourselves a row of houses. I don't know just how far this thing can be developed. I don't know if I can just keep buying land infinitely. I would certainly hope not, because that would stretch the limits of what my computer can do. However, what I can do is I can make myself small housing. And in doing so, I can attract population. But what I can do also as well is... I can put myself a market in front of the houses. And I can turn that market into a shop. And now what... No, go here, thank you, and build a shop. And what that can possibly mean is that I have the shop be easily accessible by the houses. I don't know if that's work if that's how it works. I certainly hope that's how it is. Alright, let's do that. Road. Okay. Okay. And what I can do as well is I can do a road here. And what I can do is I can continue to expand. And I can open up a new road here. And what I can do there is I can put more houses there. Let's clear that. Thank you very much. There are no places for parks in my industrial park. Thank you very much. All right. No, 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 no. I don't want to put a road there. That was a misclick. No, click, click the thing. Clear. No, not that one. It's very diff. It's it's very hard. It's difficult to. It's difficult to click. It's highly difficult to click, and apparently, you cannot actually demolish roads. That is a very, very big... How can I put this? That's a very big oversight. You should be able to demolish roads. Maybe you put down a road badly, and now you can't, you can't remove it. Okay. Let's just do that. Let's put a road there. And what I'm trying to do here is, let's put down more housing. More housing. And it really depends a lot on where you click, because you can't just click anywhere on the square. You have to click on, like, a specific part of the square. And that's really odd. Really, really odd. All right, let's clear that. Let's demolish that. All right, thank you very much. Let's put down another small housing. Thank you. And then you go here, and you put down, put down another small housing. And after you're done, we're going to put down... A water reservoir. There we go. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Yes, Mayor. All right. And what I can do is I go here and I can make myself a factory. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. I got a factory here. And I put down another factory right there. And hopefully this will allow me to start manufacturing some goods in order to sell them in order to make money. I certainly don't know. All right, let's make another road here. Let's put down another road here. All we can do is you can put down another shop and hopefully the shop will allow us. Thank you. Hopefully the shop will allow us to increase our income? I certainly don't know. Alright. So I have a shop. There we go. So, 
apparently I'm losing population. Because again, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what needs my population has. I don't know how they get those needs. I certainly have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. I know that houses generate income. And I know that factories and shops and markets generate income. And I know that parks, also uh, parks and uh, uh, water, water towers need income to work. So I'm assuming, again, this is an assumption. I'm assuming that parks and water towers are necessary to increase the um, population rating. But I don't know. The game's not telling me. And it's forcing me to borrow money. Money that I don't want to borrow. Okay, I'm winning. I'm gaining population. Okay, so I'm gaining population here. Okay, so let's make ourselves more parks. Maybe that's what I need. Maybe that's what I need to do. I need to just make parks in order to increase the the beauty of the, of, the, of, 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 of 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 the places. And in doing so, I allow myself to attract even more people. Okay, I have more parks. Let's put a park right next to the water cooler. And before you know it, everything is absolutely fine. Okay, I'm gaining population. Okay, I'm gaining population here. But if I look at my factory income, it's still at zero. It's negative, actually. Housing income... Oh, it's increasing. Okay, so I'm making money off the houses now. But I'm not making money off the factories. Oh, but wait, yes I am. I think? Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. If I put down a park here, will that increase... Okay, so I think I get the point here. Let's borrow more money. I can replay. I can repay it later. What happens if I put down a park here? Uh, oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, I need to expand my roads there. Okay. All right. So, let me see if I get this straight. Let me see if I can extend the road all the way over there. And if I can, I'll build a park. There we go. Okay. Let's put down another shop. No, let's put down another shop here. And hopefully that will further increase things. Maybe. There we go. Because, I mean, I'm not making money off shops either, I think. Shop income is still negative. I don't know how to make money. I'm just making money off housing. I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, I literally don't even know how to make my factories generate income. I literally do not know how to make my factories generate income. Wait, I can right click? Income for per day, workers 18 of 40. Workers 0 of 40. Oh, so right clicking actually gives me information. Shoppers 0 of 50. Maintenance one per day. Shoppers 18 of 50 and it's still losing money. Interesting. So maybe I just need to increase my population. I certainly don't know. But what I can know is that this game is very much reminding me of SimCity. Because both games I am equally shit at. And I cannot for the life of me play them properly. But maybe you can. I certainly don't, but maybe you can. There seems to be a lot of information you can do. I mean, you can apparently you can right-click for more information, which is something I had no idea. Noise, noisy complaint, noisy street. Oh my god, you, you can even see what they're complaining about. You know, this would be a lot... You know, maybe, maybe you could tell me, you could have told me that... Maybe you could have told me that I could right-click these things for information. Because that was a complete and utter misclick. I misclicked this. And that's the only reason I found out that you could get more information. So that's a tooltip failure and a tutorial failure on the part of the fucking game. But you know what? I'm not going to put it against it. All I know is, right now, I'm massively in the red, massively in depth, 
And my population is probably going to keep going down or up. Okay. Population is still going up. Okay. Okay. All right. Apparently, I managed to find myself a nice niche, and apparently all I need to do is just find more population. Apparently, that's all I needed to do. Fan-fucking-tastic. And maybe you'll be able to do it as well. City Clickers, currently available on Ditch.io for the low, low price of whatever the hell it is you want to pay for it. In the meantime, thank you all for tuning into this broadcast. As always, remember to check out the description down below for more information about the game, including download links. And remember, if you're in the market for indie game coverage, choose Burnlot Enterprises. Our products may not be the best, but they're certainly the most affordable. Cue the music. <laughs>